CC7I team tonight has learned that a young Chicago trader has been charged in the first cryptocurrency fraud case. The 24-year-old trader is accused of siphoning $2 million in Bitcoin and Litecoin from his employer. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us tonight. Chuck has late details. Kathy, the trader Joseph Kim thought of himself as invincible in the cryptocurrency scheme. According to federal agents, Kim lists himself as a 2016 graduate of University of Chicago with an economics degree. Tonight, he's charged with fraud for allegedly transferring his employer's digital currency to his own personal accounts to cover his own trading losses. Consolidated Trading headquartered here on South Wacker Drive apparently hired Joseph Kim right out of college in July 2016. According to this federal complaint, a year later, Kim was put into the company's new cryptocurrency trading group, a volatile and unregulated digital monetary system. By the end of last year, he had allegedly drained $2 million from Consolidated and put it into his own personal accounts. The Korean American then lied about the transfers and tried to cover up the illegal trades by repaying some of the funds, according to prosecutors. Kim referred to himself as DGEN, according to the complaint, short for degenerative gambler, they say. In an email to his bosses last November, Kim allegedly admitted to the scheme. It was not my intention to steal for myself, he's quoted as writing. Until the end, I was perversely trying to fix what I had already done. He added, according to prosecutors, I can't believe I did not stop myself when I had the money to give back, and I will live with that for the rest of my life. The U.S. attorney says this is their first crypto fraud case. 